Today's copycat threats left parents and administrators scrambling as schools closed. In some districts, students even being sent home early. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joining us live now with the impact this is having on families. Kim? Yeah, Brian, as you know, there are there's so much fear and anxiety out there across our area and so many parents that we talked to today glad that classes were canceled. Right now, the kids just can't focus. Children and children threatening children. Like that to me is mind boggling. Families like the middle Swartz and Doolin's concerned about the swirl of threats racing around on social media. Thankful they're being investigated and that the districts decided to close schools today. The middle Swartz children are in Warren Consolidated Schools. Our superintendent has been great about other safety issues besides this too. So when he put out that announcement that they were closing the schools, I knew they were doing the right things to take care of our kids. Shane Doolin goes to Canton High and just before nine o'clock this morning, parents were notified that while law enforcement determined that there is no direct threat on the shared campus of Canton, Plymouth and Salem High Schools, they were dismissing because of the disruption due to fear and anxiety. And then I called my mom and then said, I want to go home. I don't feel safe at school and everything. I'm glad they did. Um, you know, the same post, I talked to other parents, they got the same one. So it's, it's copycat. It does affect them when they go to school. It does cause a little bit of anxiety or paranoia of could it happen here? There were some districts that continued with classes today calling the threats not credible, and that did worry some parents. And I don't think that's the right reaction. I think you have an actual threat now, whether it's credible or not. Your first move should be in the interest of these kids and the safety of these kids to shut the schools down. I question what these children are being exposed to on social media or what unsupervised content they have access to. And truthfully, what the parents are doing in the background or not doing in the background. And while Royal Oak schools were open today, the district said that after talking to students and their staff today, they have decided that tomorrow all classes and activities will be canceled. Reporting live in Canton, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Okay, Kim, thank you.